Alright, uh, this is the intro riff to Wicked Game. Alright. Now, the best way to do this is to think about it in sections. Alright, um, the first part, you play an open second string. And then you're gonna, on the seventh fret, you're gonna put your finger on it. You're gonna play it again. Second time you play it, you're gonna slide it off. You know what I mean? You're not even gonna stop it one. You're just gonna go and just slide it off. And you do that twice. All right. And then what you're gonna do is the chords used in the song are B minor, which is like this. It's like a same as the A minor chord, just barred. Second on the second fret, and um, but what you're gonna do is um, in the intro, instead of having it exactly like this, you're gonna keep your index finger on the second string and keep it barred right here, and then instead of having a, like a full B minor, you're gonna take your pinky off and use your ring finger right there, just because it's easier, it's more comfortable. That's how I do it. And you're going to put your ring finger on the third string, um, fourth fret. And what you're going to do. Oh, let me show you the What you're going to do is you're going to, with that barred finger, you're going to use to bar. And you're going to play the fifth string. And then from the fifth, you go to the first, second, third. And then you're going to lift your finger off and play 1st, 2nd, 3rd again. And it's going to sound. You're going to put your hand up here in the A chord with the A chord, which is all on the 2nd fret, 2nd, um, 3rd, and 4th string. And uh, you're going to play it like So you're gonna play like you're gonna go from a uh, first. Let me tell you, you're gonna go from an A to an A7, which is just your um, ring finger taken off. So it goes from all right. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the second, the same thing again, fifth string, and you're gonna go. Only this time, instead of the first string, you start on the second, third, and fourth, which makes sense, right? Because I mean, that's the three that your fingers are on now. So you're going to go, you're going to take your ring finger off, and you're going to hit it again, so it's going to sound like that, and here comes the easy part, you're going to go from the, doing that, to a E major chord right here, which is like an A minor, just all everything moved up one string. And you're just gonna go, you're just gonna do a whole E chord. Alright. And then after that, you're gonna use only these two middle strings, only the third and fourth string. And after from the E chord, if you wanted to, you could just take your middle finger off and go. But I don't do it like that. I take, I just pull my middle, I just pull my ring finger off and put my middle finger down one, and in case you couldn't see it, it was, um, it's always gonna, it's only gonna be on these three strings, I mean on these two strings right here in the middle. See what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the first and second fret, um, first fret, let's see, third string, second fret, fourth, and then you're gonna switch over like that real fast back to an A7th and then you're just going to slide it in that same position on the 4th fret alright while you're doing all that here's how your fingers will go alright this is the E minor chord and if you want to you don't have to pick it you can just do the squeeze method which is just keeping the fingers together alright but you could pick it and it would still sound fine It'd be like 
Alright, now I'm going to start with the left hand, show you the movements. Alright. Oh, I might as well. I hope that helps, and um, just in case you didn't know that the song is only three chords, and that's B minor, A, and E major, and most of those chords are actually in the intro, uh, just, you know, finger pick instead of, you know, picks, but um, to review, the B minor is like this, the A is like this, the E is like that, you just play it like... <laughs> 